We expect uh, most calls to be positive interactions, but also want fundraisers to be prepared for the most difficult conversations. To that end, how can fundraisers respond to a difficult donor or a donor who doesn't want to give at this time? Well, it is much easier when you're prepared. What should I have in mind when the prospective donor on the other side of the call is refusing to give? Well, I think you should focus on people. This is your chance to be helpful in another way. You're here, you're on the call to help people in our community, and that includes the people you talk to over the phone. We're all in this together. We're all part of the same community. What should I do if the donor I call refuses? Well, uh, when the answer is a refusal, don't fret. It's not personal. Ask why and show empathy. Most likely it has to do with a pandemic and its ripple effect. Thank them for their time and determine the appropriate next step. Follow up with a specific time or maybe suggest resources that can help them. What should I do if a donor who I call has financial difficulties of their own? Um, well, if the prospective donor has financial difficulties or is otherwise impacted by the pandemic, offer to help and direct them to the resources on our website. What should I do if the donor I call isn't open to being solicited at this time? Well, um, if the prospective donor cannot give at this time, thank them and tell them how much you appreciate them considering to give in the future. Then ask when would be an appropriate time to follow up with them again. Now also, if the donor opens a call with telling you not to talk about money, ask them how they are doing and use the call as an opportunity to learn more about them. Please don't hesitate to reach out to anyone on the Federation's campaign staff with questions or comments, or if you need help with a specific solicitation. Remember, at the end, you're here to do good for our community, and we appreciate you and your efforts very, very much.